Hello everyone, this is John back again with another video. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today, I am going to be doing a review for all the Josephs out there, or just plain Joes. And today I am at White Castle, because sometimes you need to get what you crave. But today, specifically, what I'm craving are Joes. And not just any Joes. The Joes that are far from clean. That's right. Sloppy Joes. And today, I'm going to be trying three different types of Sloppy Joe sliders. Two of them I've done before. One of them is new for this season. And then there's a side dish as well that's in the same sloppy category. Let's start off with the original, the 99 cent Sloppy Joe. For this one, since I've done it before, I want to do a little bit different. I added some pickles to it. You can see the pickles on there. But this is just the ground meat Sloppy Joe mix on a bun, nothing else. For 99 cents, I've added pickles, of course, though. Let's give it a taste. You ask for a Sloppy Joe, they give you a Sloppy Joe. That's what it tastes like. I actually think the White Castle buns are a perfect container for Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes are already like really loose and crumbly. It's not like a big thing that holds together very well. So you want a bun that's light. And th their buns are light, plus they steam them to make them a little bit more pliable. It's the perfect bun for soaking up all that Joe juice. If you had too dense of a, a bun, when you bit through it, try to bite through it, both buns would eventually squeeze out the Joe and hit each other and you just have a bun sandwich. The second Joe they have is the Smoky Joe. And they've had the Smoky Joe before. I've tried it before. It has a smoked cheddar on it. And I believe that's it. We'll take a bite and see. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not sensing anything else. No, like, onion pieces or anything. It looks like the only addition to the Smoky Joe is some smoked cheddar. It does taste smoky. It kind of tastes like a... You ever had those, like, plastic tubs of spreadable cheese? They come in different flavors. Cheddar. Sometimes they have like a white cheddar that has like almond, slivered almonds in it. They have the port wine one that looks like it's cheddar cheese, but like a, with a swirl of uh, red wine in it. The cheese on this one tastes like the smoked cheddar from those scoopable tubs. Which to me is a good thing. You get that sweet, tangy, meaty, barbecue-like mix of meat. And that smoky cheddar just adds a nice contrast to it where it's... You have the sweet, tangy, and then you have this, like, smoky, aged cheddar kind of flavor to it. Lastly, we have the Spicy Joe. The Spicy Joe, 
builds on the Sloppy Joe, and it adds two things. You have a fried uh, jalapeno bits, and then you have a pepper jack cheese as well. The White Castle has a deal going on where you can get a six pack of mix and match for six dollars. Now, if you get all six of the regular Joes, you're actually losing money because those are 99 cents each. So if you get six of them for six dollars, you're actually paying a penny more per slider. However, both the Spicy Joe and the Smoky Joe are the same price. They are $1.23 each. So by getting a six pack for six dollars, you're and if you get all smoky or spicy, you save 23 cents per slider. Um, I just got two of each kind, and I got pickles on the original one. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try the Spicy Joe. This one is the new one of the three, so have not tried this variety of White Castle Joe. Okay. The first difference that hits you is definitely the texture of the fried jalapeno bits. It's the only one out of the three that has anything that has a different consistency to it. The cheese addition to the Joe really doesn't change the overall texture. Maybe it's a little bit more creamier, but the chew is no different. This one, you get some crunch to it. So, nothing up my sleeve except for some sloppy joe. The spiciest part of it is, uh, it, it's definitely spicy. When you first take a bite, you don't notice it. I think it's once you really chew into the jalapeno pieces and you really like grind that up and release the peppery oils into your mouth that's when you get some spice and it's a good level of spice it's definitely not extremely spicy i would say like on a one to four pepper scale it's like a one and a half maybe two peppers at most It's good. It's a welcome addition to the trio. Now, this is also new. It's the sloppy fries. I'm actually pretty worried about eating them in my car. I do give you a fork. Not only is there sloppy joe on it, but there's also the cheese sauce. And I think the cheese sauce is actually probably more spicy. Looks like they give you like two clumps of it. Let's get a little bit of the sloppy joe mix with the decently cheesed up fry. It's okay. Of everything I've tried here, the sloppy fries are probably my least favorite of everything. It's not saying it's bad. They put a lot of the yellow cheese on here. And their yellow cheese is not really the best. It has a kind of a, 
it's not bland, but it's just not the best cheese sauce flavor I've had before in my life. There's no sharpness to it. It's a little salty, a little bit of, uh, it's less cheesy than Cheese Whiz, I'll say. Um, if they change their cheese sauce to a more sharp flavor, this would be better. The smoky cheese on the, the Smoky Joes, if they can somehow get that flavor into a sauce and put it on here, then this would definitely be up there. But uh, of like the loaded kind of fries that they have at White Castle, I think the best one they have is the one that has the ranch and the bacon and the cheese sauce as well, mostly because of the ranch and the bacon. <laughs> I think the, the ranch and the bacon, when the bacon gets into the cheese, it kind of like enhances it a little bit. Um, but the, the meat in here, the sloppy joe meat, I don't think it has a, it's good. It has like a, a, a sweet barbecue like flavor. But that cheese kind of like, when it gets into it, it kind of like coats over it. And you don't get the flavor as much in your mouth. The, the cheese kind of just like, creates like a almost plasticized barrier between your taste buds and the meat. So you're just getting this like weak cheese sauce flavor. Um, so yeah, the sloppy fries, mm, they could probably improve on that. But the, the trio of, of Sloppy Joes, I like all three of them. My favorite is probably the Smoky Joe. I think that Smoky Cheese mixed with the the barbecue meat of the, the sloppy joe mix is actually a really good combination they enhance each other in flavor um and if i was going to get these again i would get the smoky joes and i would also add pickle to that as well because i enjoyed the pickle on the original one but i also like the uh the smoky cheese on the smoky joe and i think those together all three of those things mixed together uh would probably be the best option uh, for my taste anyway. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. So long. Bye.